How's it going, YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Memory here today. Bring you guys a battle I have up against Ash Ketchum himself. Uh, Ash is rocking out with his Pikachu, Blastoise, Snorlax, Decidueye, Lycanroc, and Corvin Knight. I'm over here rocking out with a Butterfree, Toxtricity, Dragapult, Gardevoir, Weezing, and Rillaboom. And now I know you're looking at this like, what? Uh, what's your game plan, Wi-Fi? What? What's this team? I've never seen you use this team. And yeah, um, the biggest thing is I'm trying to um, have fun, but trying to work on getting some pretty cool stuff for Series 6. See if little things kind of work and stuff because Series 6, I'm going to be trying to make it, try and get on top of the ladder as see how far I can go with the uh, online rank battles and stuff so I'm just trying to get in some practice with some very unusual mons like uh, Gardevoir and Weezing because I mean you never know they might pop off in this new si series 6 so uh, I'm just trying to see if I can get a feel for them uh, right here though uh, Ash decides to go ahead and brings out his Pikachu and Blastoids um, I'm going for helping hand with Gardevoir You'll see why in a minute, or in a second. Blasto goes for um, Shell Smash. And Weezing's going to be going for um, Misty Explosion. You're thinking, man, Blastoid's a set up. Blastoid's got his Shell Smash off. You know, good, good for you. You got the Shell Smash off. Let's see if he can survive this. This is Choice Specs, by the way. Plus Helping Hand. Yeah, I don't believe he'll be living this. Plus, Gardevoir is actually telepathy, so Gardevoir does not take any damage from we Weezing going for a Misty Explosion, which is perfect. It's great. We did get a cr critical hit on the Blastoids. I don't... I wouldn't imagine that critical hit mattering. But, either way, we're rocking. We're going amazing right now. We're going to go out into our Dragapult. And Gardevoir is rocking a uh, Shadow Sneak. So what the main plan here is for us to go for Shadow Sneak into our own Dragapult. Activate our own weakness policy. And then we're going to go pretty much big damage right into that Corviknight. That's the game plan. We, I believe he uh, goes ahead and Gigantamaxes his um, Pikachu as well. Ash is trying to meet Dynamax to Dynamax, you know. Uh, one thing need to, need to note is Pikachu's uh, G-Max Voltage, or I can't remember what it's called, but he will not be able to get the um, Paralyzation right now because of Weezing's um, Misty Terrains on the field. So there's no status going on and I don't know if uh, Ash realized this or not because yes we take out your Corviknight uh, he goes for that um, voltage attack here let's see if I can actually get the name Volt Crash that's right he goes for Volt Crash on uh, Gardevoir and I don't know if he was actually trying to um, get the paralyzation or what you guys probably thought that was a Lumberry there for a second no that's a Citrus Berry yeah he didn't get um, any paralyzations or nothing going on, so this is all because of my Misty Terrain. So I don't know if Ash uh, knew that was coming or what. I don't know. But either way, Gardevoir's here to do another Helping Hand, which this that Helping Hand probably did matter a little bit to get Pikachu down to its Focus Ash because we're in Misty Terrain. And that halves the damage of my dragon move. The reason we wanted to go for the dragon attack was because if Snorlax wanted to set up like a belly drum or something, because we're ignoring it this turn, uh, we kind of help negate that damage a little bit by going for Max Wormlands. Thankfully, he goes for a uh, curse. So he's practically at neutral attack at this point. So he doesn't have no big attack boost or nothing. Um, I got Toxicity right here in the back. Toxicity is pretty cool. Man, you know. Don't get much usage at the moment. Really don't know why other than it's speed. 
If it was faster, I think he would probably get a lot more usage. But either way, he's I still think he could be a very, very good Pokemon. So, anyway. Anyway. I know I say that too much. Vote crashes right into my toxicity. Uh... Honestly, would think that you would have a better move. I would imagine. So I don't know why you don't go for like a Max Geyser or uh, what else does Pikachu get? <laughs> I don't know, but I think you could have went for a Max Geyser or something else. Anyway, I went for Boom Burst, and pretty much these next two turns, I'm just trying to get a Boom Burst animation. Pretty much his battles. Oh. All but done. Um, this is me trying to fish for a boom burst animation. Um, anyway, guys, what y'all think about uh, going up against Ash Ketchum? You know, someone that we all grew up, we all seen the anime, we all see how famous he is, and then he comes out somehow. He he connects with my game and challenges me to a battle of Pokemans, and um, well. Honestly, Ash, I think you need to still be working on some of your craft because um, G-Max and that Pikachu, it ain't cutting it for you, man. And um, that Misty Terrain really screwed him over, and I don't know if he ever if he's seen that coming or not. I mean, Ash, man, man, you gotta. Oh, here's the Boom Burst animation, by the way. But man, Ash, you gotta step up your game, dude. You've been at this longer than I have. You can't let me beat you. I mean, come on, Ash. You gotta do better. You won't ever be the champion. Okay, maybe you will become the champion, because you already are the champion. But, you won't become a champion the second time. Actually, he is a two-time champion. He beats Lance in the Orange Islands, and then I think he won... Was it Aloha? I didn't... Loa? region so he is a two-time champion so i be ash the two-time champion right now in a battle of wits and ash i'm sorry my man but you lost you lost pretty hard to a dragapult mm. anyway guys if you guys did enjoy this is wi-fi merman signing out peace